failure is a wise teacher. No. I'm clipping it, bro. I'm clipping that. I'm clipping that shit. Oh my god. I died. Yo, YouTube, what up, what up, guys, man? Uh, back, man. It's been a month or two since I've uploaded, streamed, have done anything. Uh, I bought a house. Um, kids have been, my kids have been sick. Uh, it's just been busy with work and basketball. I'm a basketball coach, so um, I didn't, really didn't do much during the season. So I just focus on that because I mean that's my that's my priority and that's what I love to do. So, but anyways, we're back. Um, this is my first video in a while, as you can see, but. The goal is to start streaming and uploading just like we used to in the past. But anyway, I'm going to come at, uh, at you guys with the top five best setups in Warzone, Call of Duty Battle Royale. Um, from what I played, I love this game mode, guys. I love it. And this is probably what I'm going to play the majority of the time. Okay, I, I, I don't know. I just There's something about it that I just love. And I'm trying to get a lot better at this. But anyway, man, the setups, I'm going to go right to it. So just don't just beat around the bush. Just get right to it, man. Uh, for the first one I'm going to give you guys is... The MP5 is your primary. Um, I had the Admiral's Pride um, edition uh, variant for my weapon. But the attachments for this, I want monolithic integral suppressor. Okay, it has a better range, and obviously the maps are huge, so there's going to be a lot of far gunfights just in case. I know it's a sub, but just in case. Um, we're going to go um, classic straight line stock, and this just gives you more aiming stability. Uh, Ranger foregrip for better stability. Uh, 45 round mags because you have more ammo because I do have body armor and sleight of hand uh, for the secondary uh, You can run a sniper uh, either one whatever one you want But I run the ax 50 and for this I have the long barrel increased range and regular scope uh, The thermal scope is very good as well. So I recommend that if you want to do that So and then um, the sing the sing guard arms assassin and the ADS is pretty uh, it makes it a little bit quicker than uh, granulated grip tape and then seven round max just to have a little bit more ammo if I'm trying to take out a squad So that's the first setup um, Second setup M4 the classic M4 and uh, Sniper uh, pretty explanatory a lot of people run this I run I run monolithic stock uh, Grenader uh, commando foregrip M16 stock 60 round mags and yeah, that's it, man. Just increase the range. The ADS is pretty slow, as you can see at the bottom. The mo mobility is awful, but obviously, you, you just need range for this weapon. It's not for close quarter combats. And then I have the same exact attachments for the sniper, but I do have a thermal. Like, instead of the regular scope, I have a thermal. So, um, nothing different. Um, but yeah, nothing different with that. Um, next one is the RAM. It's pretty much the same setup as the uh, M4 setup. Monolithic, long range barrel. Commando for grip, 50 round max, and simple grip tape for faster ADS. So, um, mobility is dropped as you can see, but I'm more focused on range and damage, uh, especially in Warzone because uh, of the maps, the map size. Um, next one, uh, the P90. This is a, a class setup where you want to be a little bit, you can rush a little bit more, and this is how I think I'm going to start playing instead of sitting back and waiting. I, I just want to get into action, drop hot spots, whatever it may be. But on here, I want monolithic suppressor. Uh, close quarter combat is uh, stock, stipple grip tape, stipple grip tape for both actually, and sleight of hand, faster ADS, uh, right to the action, um, you know, the MP5 is pretty, very good recoil uh, control on here, so that's why I love it. And then instead of a sniper, we're going to go the FAO. So what I'm doing in here is X, uh, XRK Marksman, so it gives me a better damage range, which is very crucial. I do have a sniper scope, and I found this to be very helpful in this mode just because of the range, uh, as, as, as you guys know. So, Forge Tack, Stalker, Barrel, um, Aiming Stability, because I feel like being accurate is very key in this. Uh, range for Foregrip to Recoil Control, Aiming Stability, and then upgraded the mags a little bit to 24 round mags. So, you know, just take off that body armor. Uh, the last one I'm gonna give to you guys is this uh, FAMAZ. 
okay um i right here i have it as the variant it gave to me um this is just for range the ads is awful but as you can see look at the accuracy and look at the range on this weapon unbelievable look at this guys it's got a sniper a compensator as this which i may change but i'll take the compensator for now it's got the sniper barrel the sniper scope uh the forge tack uh aiming stability to make it better and a bipod so when you're mounted you have no recoil so that's that right there and then on top of that since it's a very slow weapon i have the mp5 uh, this is my go-to weapon on multiplayer um a subsonic suppressor so there's no tracers when you kill anybody or whatever it may be um uh commando core grip increase ads and uh or not a recoil st uh stabilization and stabilization and aiming stability um then 10 millimeter auto 30 rounds so it's it hits a lot harder that's why i the subsonic and those round uh that am uh, ammunition they just kind of balance each other so i like that combo that you can do and then slide a hand to reload faster since it's only 30 rounds so i love this gun in multiplayer this setup i run it all the time and it shreds so and i got the uh, uh f tac classical stock just for ads and speed and i feel like you need something quick especially running this um uh, famas right here it's very slow so i countered it with um, mp5 and good mobility so um simtex and sim on every class you can switch that up whatever you feel comfortable but those are my top five best setups for um Warzone. If you guys uh, like this stuff and you want me to do more uh, stuff like this as I keep playing, I'm going to figure out something new. I may switch one of these classes out tonight after I'm done playing, but this right now, this is these are my favorite classes, and I recommend you guys run these because it's pretty easy to get a loadout drop in the game. So almost every match you can get a loadout drop unless you get uh, taken out like right away. But hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think about these setups. Uh, if you want to try one, let me know how it did for you. And if there's something I can change, let me know. I'm open to anything just trying to learn to get better at the game so i appreciate you guys i will see you in the next one peace out